Hello YouTuber friends. Welcome to Tech Mecca channel. In this video we discussed about the cam interview question and question. Please subscribe to our channel. Question number one, what is a cam? Answer, a cam is a cylinder, plate or other solid with curved outline which is designed to convert rotary motion into timed irregular motion on the follower which is in contact with it. I.e., cam's rotary motion can be changed to reciprocating motion. Question number two, what are the main types of cams? Answer, there are two main types of cams used in industries, radial cam, on this cam the follower operates in a plane perpendicular the axis of the camshaft which is raised and lowered as the cam revolves. Cylindrical cam, on this cam the follower oscillates in a plane parallel with the axis of the camshaft. Question number three, name different types of shafts used in industry. Answer, commonly four types of shafts are used in industry, main shaft, counter shaft, crank shaft, spline shaft. Question number four, what are the different types of cam motions? Answer, uniform or constant motions, harmonic motion, uniform accelerate and retarded motion. Question number five, name different types of cam followers? Answer, commonly used followers are, pointed, flat-faced, roller and spherical-faced. Question number six, explain about a screw jack? Answer, a screw jack consists of a body and a square threaded screw rod. Its screw rod has a head and a revolving pad. This screw rod acts on both directions according to the action of the lever attached with ratchet arrangement with the handle. It is used to lift the loads therefore it is mostly used by motor mechanics. Question number 7. Explain briefly the use of clutch. Answer. Clutch is used to connect and disconnect the driving and driven units of a machine. It does the function when machine speed is changed after stopping the driving unit. Please subscribe to our channel. Question number 8. What do you mean a coupling? Answer. It is a device used to connect two shafts. These are generally used to increase the length of shafts. Question number 9. What is a flange coupling? Answer. It is very common type of coupling used to connect the shafts by means of two flanges. Two cast iron flanges are fitted with key to the ends of the two shafts to be connected and fastened together by means of bolts and nuts. Question number 10, explain about universal coupling. Answer, it is used to connect two shafts whose axes are not in line with each one center block, two pins and two pins and two collars with lock pins. The forks are fitted with key on the ends of two shafts and then joined to a center block having two arms at 90 degree to each other. This coupling does the function on the action of its two pins. It does not work well if the angle between the two shafts is more than 45 degree. Question number 11. What is a flexible coupling? Answer. It connects the shafts with soft materials such as rubber, leather, canvas, etc. It adjusts the little misalignment and controls the vibrations also. It is generally used electric pumps. Question number 12. Explain about pulley block. Answer. Pulley block is a block in which two or three group of pulleys are used with a rope to lift and heavy loads. The load is tied in the hook of the movable block and the effort is applied at the end of the rope which comes through the fixed pulley block. Question number 13. Write about muff coupling. Answer. It is a hollow piece which is used with key to connect the shafts. It may be found in cylindrical muff, half-lap muff or split muff type. A jib head key or saddle key is inserted between the coupling and shafts throughout for connecting the shafts. Question number 14. Explain about hydraulic jack. Answer. It consists of a cylinder and ram. The oil is forced into the cylinder. The load is lifted by this jack according to the pressure of the oil. In its working system the oil is filled through the oil plug in the oil reservoir. It has a tube at the lower end and a non-return valve. When the lever is operated up and down, plunger moves up in the tube supplying the oil and a down the non-return valve which allows the oil into the cylinder which causes the ram raises. The ram rises according to the pressure of the oil which lifts the load accordingly. Question number 15. What is a chain block? 
Answer. It consists of two grooved pulleys which are fixed side on the same spindle having chain also. While another pulley is fitted with clamp in which a lifting hook is provided. One chain connects the hanging pulley. When a chain is pulled by hand then all the pulleys start functioning and the hook carries the load. In this way the load is lifted to a required height. Please subscribe to our channel.